How are you doing today? Oh, still a little shaky. Well, you had an awful night. Yeah, I really was ready to jump out that window. But you didn't. If I ever feel like using, all I have to do is think about the last couple of days. I'm clean now because of you. I couldn't have done it without you. How, how am I supposed to thank someone for that? You don't have to. I have the old you back, and that's all I've ever wanted. The old me plans on sticking around. Good. Because I'm going to need him. Do you remember what today is? A drug test. Now you've lost track of time. It's also the day we might find out how our baby died. It felt really good sleeping next to you last night. Could have been too much fun for you, though. I'm just glad you got a good night's sleep. I was really, really sick. I'm sorry. You don't have to keep saying that. It's been like a million years since we slept in the same bed, right? Well, yeah, since we ran away together. And I was in bed sick with morning sickness, and you took care of me then. Just like I took care of you now. You talked in your sleep last night. Oh, no. Did I say something? Something embarrassing? so much stuff. I love you too, Cole. Come on. What did I say? Please tell me I didn't say something really stupid. I don't remember. Yes, you do. Tell me. Cole, I was worried I was going to have to turn you in. Hi, Rachel. Um, look, I, I know I went AWOL, but it's, it's not going to happen again. Yeah, it better not. This is um, my, my friend, Star. Is she the reason why you've been missing? If you're here to pee in a cup for him, his drug test is going to be supervised. But that's not why Star is here. She, she got me through the last couple of days. She helped me get clean. Well, we'll let the test be the judge of that. You should go. I'll see you at the hospital. Are you sure? Yeah, I'll be fine. Now maybe by the time I get there, you'll know what happened to our baby. I want to know. I'm just not looking forward to it. Yeah. I'll see you there, okay? <clears throat> Let's go. You're not coming in the bathroom with me, are you? Oh, relax. One of the male counselors will do the honors. Doing, I'm working on the project we started. Even though you're suspended Actually, from I teaching? I don't think you're allowed to be back here right now. Well, there was no one out front, and I, uh... Look, I'm not stalking you or anything. I didn't come here to see you. I'm looking for Kyle Lewis. God, that... I haven't seen Kyle Lewis. Okay, then I'll just wait outside. Mr. J, I'm, I'm sorry about my dad. You should not have been in the middle of all this. Oh, well, it's over with, and I got a wicked cool shiner out of it. I, um, I read about what happened to you in the paper, what you went through at your dad's house with the ex-con. It was awful. Yeah, being held hostage by a convicted rapist, it's, that sounds more than awful. But I got through it, though. Because Cole was there. Thanks, Matt. No problem, Rachel. We'll get the results back right away. Okay. Cool. Yeah? You sure you feel that way? I don't... 
I don't think I have to worry. I mean, I know I have a long road ahead of me, but, uh, but things are different. What happened over the past few days? What changed? You know what? You know, I had a feeling you guys would get back together. We're not together. We just feel like us again. Well, I'm assuming you... He got his head on straight with the whole drug thing, so... Yeah, Cole had this breakthrough. If that test comes back clean, I am going to be really proud of you. That's what I want. You've got a whole new attitude. Something must have shook you up and straightened you out. It was Star. Actually, I had a breakthrough, too. About you. Why didn't you call me? That's what I'm here for. I, I, I know. N no offense. I just... Needed someone else. Star. Yeah, she was the only one that could help me get through this. It takes a special person to go through that with someone. I've given the star a million reasons to walk away, but for some reason, she, she's hung in there with me. You're a good guy, Cole. She still cares about you. You feel a little bit better about the future now? I, I think so. I, I think I can s s finally start to... to deal with things. Um, all the stuff that happened to me, all the stuff that I did to people. I think I can finally look your brother in the eye again. Come in. Your drug panel's back. You're clean of all opiates and everything else. Congratulations. Good job. Recovery is a long road and you just got over the first and biggest hurdle. I'm very, very proud of you. You said I was only into you because I was missing Cole. You were right, and I'm sorry because I know that I weirded you out, and I can't believe that I did what I did, and it was a total soccer move, you know and I'm completely mortified. Don't start. Don't don't do that to yourself. You were you're young. You had suffered a lot of loss. You weren't you. I get it. And that's exactly what happened with Cole. He became a completely different person because of the drugs, and that's really clear now that, now that he's clean. It's funny how that works, isn't it? Yeah. Cole's been asking me for help, and I've been going through everything with him, and it's helped me a lot, too. He realized what he was doing to himself, to everyone else, and I realized what I was doing to you. Well, but that's in the past. So. No, I really want to make it up to you. No, no. No, you, you, you don't, no, you don't, not you don't that owe me a thing. Way. <laughs> Maybe there's even a possibility that we could be friends. Oh, I'm just... I think when you're older, maybe we can be friends. Right now, I, I have to figure out how to get my life back together. And something tells me you have another friend that you should focus on. Yeah. I do. Hi. Uh, m Mr. J and I were just saying goodbye. your drug test, right? Yeah. Just didn't expect to see him here. I wasn't expecting to see Mr. J either. He just happened to be here, but I'm, I'm glad that he was. Oh, great. No, we had to straighten some things out. Like what? No, for forget it. I really don't want to know. But I want to tell you. I told him that my feelings for him were bogus. And that even though I did lean on him, it's because I wanted to go to you. You can now. I know. Hi. <laughs> can I help you with something? Yes, we're here for the DNA results. Oh. The lock of hair. Yeah, uh, Hope Manning McBain, right? Yeah, that was our baby. You wanted to see if there was some genetic reason that your baby died? Right. Did you find anything out yet? Um, I, I, I'll go check to see if the results are in.
What did Ted say? I don't know how to tell you this. Just say it. According to the results, Hope Manning McBain it, it isn't your baby.